Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. It's a lazy Sunday morning, and after playing with GIFs and reviving old memes on the TT Go T display, I want to do something more practical. How about a weather station? Yeah, let's make a TT Go T display weather station. I start by searching for the word weather in the Arduino IDE library manager. There are a few unrelated references to the word weather here. But this one looks interesting. Let's go with Open Weather One Call. While you're installing Open Weather One Call, you get the option to install the required Arduino JSON library. Go ahead and do that while you're at it. Now we browse to the Open Weather One Call folder in Arduino Libraries and open the example sketch Simple Latitude Longitude Weather. Save this to a new folder. This sketch lets you get the weather information for your specific GPS coordinates from openweathermap.org. You need to register and sign in to openweathermap.org to generate an API key for use in your sketch. Let's look further in the documentation for Open Weather One Call. It's simple enough, 13 pages, but this is a thorough doc. It's important to note the limitations on the free account on openweathermap.org. At a maximum, all calls except current are limited to 1,000 calls a day. Current is limited to 1 million calls a month, or about 23 calls per minute. We will seek to understand these calls later in the video. Let's make this example sketch work before we go on to mash it up for the TT Go T display. It's nice they already have the includes for TFT ESPI in here. We need to put in our Wi-Fi details, then add our API key from openweathermap.org. The docs indicate a variety of ways to pass your location to openweathermap.org. I'm going with manually entering my latitude and longitude. What to do about defining what calls to exclude? I'm not sure what information I want yet. And I don't know which calls have the information I want. So let's go with excluding daily, hourly, and minutely. This example sketch makes a single call to openweathermap.org and displays the retrieved information to the serial monitor. I have selected ESP32 dev module and the correct COM port in the Arduino IDE. I do have a video about setting up the Arduino IDE for working with the TTGO T display. Make sure to check it out. So let's upload the sketch. Somehow, void setup was missing the closing bracket. I left a message on the Open Weather One Call repository on GitHub. Oops, I forgot to uncomment my location setting. There, we worked out a few simple bugs and we are getting weather information for our GPS coordinates. Kudos to jhershey69 on GitHub for this Open Weather One Call library. Great work. Now, it's time to mash up TTGO T display code to get this data on the screen. I took the factory test sketch from the TTGO T display library and whittled it down to the bare minimum to display text on the screen. Look for the link in the description below to my GitHub repository where you can get the code. The size 2 font fits 20 characters across and 8 rows down on the TTGO T display screen. The size 1 font is just too small to be practical. Now we know how much text we can display on the screen. Let's look at this variable information from the Open Weather One Call repository docs. This breaks down what variables are available in each call. For my weather station, I want current temperature, humidity, barometric pressure, wind speed, and the current condition. I want today's forecast, low and high temperatures, winds, and condition, and I want that same for tomorrow's forecast. I also want to capture any alerts. So we need to call current, daily, and alerts. We will exclude hourly and minutely calls. 
The docs on Open Weather One Call guide you on how frequently to make each call. You would need to have different instances of the Open Weather One Call defined in your sketch to do the various calls at different intervals. I want to keep this sketch simple. So I am going with calling openweathermap.org every 10 minutes and I'm not going to display the time on the T-Display. This amounts to 144 calls per day, well under the 1,000 call limit. So let's mash the T-Display code into the Open Weather One Call sketch. I'm including the Arduino Secrets include file so I don't have to blur out my Wi-Fi details, the API key, and my latitude and longitude in the code. We add this line here to invoke the TFT display at 135 by 240 pixels. Here are the Wi-Fi details, the API key, and the GPS coordinates from the Arduino Secrets Include file. I'm excluding hourly and minutely here. In void setup, I initialize the TFT display, set the rotation and text size. I need to move the closing bracket for void setup up to here because I'm moving void loop up to here so we can do calls to openweathermap.org repeatedly every 10 minutes. In the display routine, I have moved alerts to the top. This way, an alert would appear at the top of the display and push the remaining lines down on the screen as needed. Otherwise, the alert would appear below the bottom of the screen. I'm already using all eight rows available on the screen. Pay attention in the code to see where the slash n or line breaks are. I'm using TFT print f and TFT print line to format the display layout. I tried using TFT drawstring command, but it didn't work with how these variables are cast. Comment below if you have a way to use TFT drawstring in this library. Here, the current variables are displayed. Temperature, humidity, pressure, wind speed, and the summary condition of the weather. Next, we display the forecasted low and high temperatures, wind speed, the summary condition of the weather for today and tomorrow. Yeah, I'm not fussing around with any icons here, just text. But this all fits neatly on the 240 by 135 pixel T display, and it is very readable. Okay, I hope this video helps you get started on your own weather station on the TTGO T display. Leave a comment down below on what you would do differently with your sketch. Make sure to check out my other T display videos. And before you go, give this video a like and please subscribe to help me keep making these videos. Thank you very much.